so we're trying to do number one out of 7.2, which is we have this one plus x squared, well, the quantity one plus x squared times y double prime plus six x y prime plus six y equals zero. And we're in the power series approach. So we're gonna just assume to ourselves that y has a power series. So y is the sum from n is zero to infinity of a n x to the n. Right, right? Yes. Okay, so then y prime is gonna be the sum from n is one to infinity of n a n x to the n minus one. Right, just differentiating every term. And why does it start at one now instead of zero? Did I lose you guys? I'm here. Okay. You lost me mentally. So what did the n equals zero term in the original y look like? So if I think about what this thing looks like, this is a zero x to the zero, right? Mm -hmm. so just the plus a one x to the one plus a two x squared plus, right? And so when I differentiate this, the constant term goes to zero, right? So I could say that this is zero times a zero x to the minus one, but that might get confusing. Yeah. Because I didn't have a problem with division by zero and then I differentiated and I shouldn't, I still shouldn't have a problem with division by zero. But if I allow that x to the minus one to be in there, then I might have a problem at x is zero. Does that make sense? So I'm, I'm purposefully eliminating that problem beforehand. So then if I differentiate again, I get y double prime is the sum starting now at two of n times n minus one, a n x to the n minus two. You guys all with that? Yeah. Uh, yes. I'm just taking the power down, multiplying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, now then, now we go ahead and plug all that crap back in. And so, upon plugging in, I get the sum from n equals 2 to infinity of n times n minus 1 a n x to the n minus 2. Oh, I guess I should maybe show what I'm doing. I've multiplied this thing out just a little bit. So I have y double prime plus x squared y double prime plus 6xy prime plus 6y equals 0. So this is what I'm working with. So this piece here is just y double prime. And then I think I have plus, and I have the sum from n equals two to infinity of n times n minus one, a n x to the close. You had n minus two and then you multiplied by x squared. Oh, just x to the n? Yep. So this component here is y double is really x squared times y double prime. And then I have plus the sum from n equals one to infinity of six n a n x to the n. So all that crap is my 6xy prime. 
You guys see what I did, did there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then I have plus the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of a n x to the n. And all this crap is supposed to equal 0. Question steals. Okay, so my next thing is going to be to take all this stuff and think about rearranging it. And so the I need everything to have kind of x's to the same powers and to have the same indices. So in order to in order to kind of think about that in general, sometimes what I'll do is think about this. Um, just like this very last term looks like a zero x to the zero plus a one x to the one plus a two x squared, right? So this one starts at starts at a constant and then has x's, x squareds and stuff in it, right? Yeah. This middle one, the 6xy prime one, that one starts with a, well, when n is 1, I have 6a1x plus, and then when n is 2, I have, 12 a 2 x squared right. so this one starts at x's right which means between the two of these the one on the right has more stuff it has a constant term but otherwise there are x to the n's and x to the n's so if this one's if the one on the right started at n equals one then i could just combine the coefficients Okay, um, how about this one, the one that came from x squared y double prime? What does that one have in it? It would be 2a2x squared. Perfect. Plus, and the next one is going to be... 6a3x cubed. Okay, good. And kind of so forth, right? Mm -hmm. And so this one also has x to the n's, which is good, but it starts at x squared. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then this last one here has the wrong coefficient, or sorry, the wrong power on it. Right, because that one's about n minus twos. Uh -huh. But if I think about where it starts, when I, when start the constant. Yeah, when I plug in n is two, I get two times one times a two x to the zero. Oh, I don't really need the x there, right? Uh -huh. That one starts at a constant, and then the next one, when n is three, I have three times two a three x to the one. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. So the first thing I'm gonna do is try to make the the powers of x match, and then the the next thing I'm gonna do after that is make the coefficient match. Okay. Or the number of terms match. How about that. So First things first, I need to get that n minus two out of there. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend that uh, I'm gonna re-index this thing. I'm not gonna pretend that I'm gonna re-index. I'm gonna actually re-index. I'm gonna let k be n minus two. And that means that n is k plus two, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna let k be n minus two. Two, and then that implies that n is k plus 2. 
And then this sum is going to be the sum from k equals to infinity. And when n is 2, what's k? 0. Good. So this is going to be the sum from k is 0 to infinity. Because when n is infinity, so is k, right? And then n is k plus 2. And that makes n minus 1. k plus 1. Perfect. And then I have a sub k plus 2. Good. And x to the k plus 2. Uh, are you sure? K, just k. J Should k. be just k. J to the k. Should be k because that's what my goal was, right? Right, right, right. And then I have plus rest of stuff forever equals zero and this here these three are what i'm calling the rest of stuff i just don't want to write it all down right now mm -hmm. okay so then what i need to do is i need to get them all starting at the same place and so the the one that starts last out of the so the new one that i have starts at a constant right mm -hmm. and then i have another one that starts at a constant oops that's that was a one back there right x to the zero was one earlier so i have another one that starts at a constant and another one that starts at an x and then the last one starts at an x squared you guys see that? Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break I'm going to break these all into the stuff that they start with and then the x squared and further. So this first one, when k is zero. gives you 2a2x. Oops, 2a2x to the zero. So 2a2 plus when k is one, this gives you three times two times a three x and then has the sum from k is 2 to infinity of k plus 2 times k plus 1 a k plus 2 x to the k You guys good with that one? Uh, that was the x squared plus y or y double prime or so that was that was this one which came from the y double prime alone. So all of this all of this crap here is the y double prime term. Okay, got you. And then I have plus, and now my my x squared y double prime term already starts at two. So I'm just gonna put that in here. And I'm gonna start that, I'm gonna say that's from k equals two to infinity of k times k minus one, a k x to the k. And now I did something just a little bit tricky. What did I do that was just a tiny bit unfair, maybe? 
He jumped straight to the K's and you just swapped him? Yeah, I just let N equals K there. I mean, I did that for a kind of a philosophical reason. <laughs> Not, it doesn't matter mathematically. It's really just that I'm going to want to talk about adding these series together later. And I'm going to have an easier time lumping them together if they're all using the same variables. Okay. So, so I made a sneaky little substitution there. And the sneaky little substitution is that in this term, I really let k equal n. You can just do that? And I'm going to do that in all of these. So why would you not do that in the first one? Because in the first one, I wanted k to, I wanted k to be something different. Because you all have the same power for the other three except for... First. Yep, exactly. That first one had jacked up powers on it because it was counting x to the something minus twos. I gotcha. And I really want them all to be talking about the same powers of x at the same time. Okay. So I'm just going to change away the, the kind of, or I'm going to change around the way I talk about which power they're at. Uh, but it's not going to change the content of the silly thing at all. Because really, it's it's a series, right? It had, It's not anything to do with n, except that you used n to tell you which term you were talking about. All right, so then I have my next one. Um, and then the next one starts with what term? What do you mean? Which, what power does that next one start at? Uh, X to the K. Yeah, so that's gonna- X to the one. Yeah. So because the sum starts at one, there's going to be a one in there. So I'm going to let K be one. And then I'm going to get a six A one X out of it. And then the rest is going to be the sum from K is two to infinity of six K Six K A K X to the K. So that's the rest of the terms there. And then both those terms together are these six X Y prime terms. You guys with that? Yeah. yeah. And then I'm gonna do plus and I'm gonna let K be zero. And I'm gonna let K be one. And then I'm going to have the rest. Um, so when k is 0, that thing is a0. And when k is 1, it's a1x. And then the rest are the sum from k is 2 to infinity akx to the k. And that's supposed to equal 0. Okay, so this is where we get to consolidate things. Joy. What's up? I said joy. Yeah, it's not actually so bad. It just, there's a lot of stuff to keep track of. Um, and just to be totally clear, that whole last, the last three terms there were y, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to consolidate, firstly, all the constant things. So those are going to be my x to the 0 terms. And I have, at the very least, 2a2, right? So that's, uh, maybe let me switch my pen color here. running out of pen colors. 
Okay, so that's this term. I have 2a2 plus, uh, let's see. Yeah, the next thing has x's in it. The next thing's a sum. The next thing is a sum. The next thing has an x in it. The next thing's a sum. So yeah, I only have this one a0 term out way out here. So my x0 terms, or my x to the 0 power terms, right? My constants are these guys. And then I have plus, and then x terms, I have a 6a3x. That's this one. And then over here a ways, I have a plus 6a1x. And then over a bit further, I have an a1x. So those guys are my x terms. And then lastly here, I have all the series. So those are gonna be the sum from k is two to infinity. And then I just need the, to collect the powers, or the coefficients rather. So I have a k plus two times a k plus one. That's this one. I have a plus k times k minus one and a plus six k a k. Oops, shit. Did you guys see what I lost? Well, doesn't that k plus two times k plus one, doesn't that start at zero? Um, it did, but then I pulled two terms out of it, so now it starts at two. Uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's why I pulled the terms out of it, so that they would all start at two. Yeah. Um, but I lost my AK plus twos. Yeah. And then I have K times K minus one AK, and then a plus six K AK. And so I should have had these squiggles should have gone just a little further. And then my last one is just an AK. Right, so I have all of that garbage times X to the K, and this is all supposed to equal zero. Good to go. Yeah. What's that? Is it just a second? Okay. Uh, yeah, oh, okay. I see what you did. Okay, we're good. Okay. Now, what's the constant on the right hand side? Good. What's the constant on the left hand side? Two A two plus A naught. Hmm. No? Yeah. yeah. So I think yeah. two A two plus A naught has to be zero. And then what about the other con or what about the linear term on the right? Uh, there isn't one. There isn't one. And so the linear term on the left has to equal zero. Has to equal zero. And so six a three plus seven a one has to equal zero. And then how about the rest of this junk? 
So how about the square term on the right hand side? I'm gonna go with zero. Oh, good, yeah. Okay, so they're all zero, right? All the rest of the coefficients are zero. And the rest of the coefficients are all of this stuff. Oops, I guess I, I just highlighted the coefficients, right? Mm -hmm. And so what that means is that I should be able to say that k plus 2 times k plus 1 a k plus 2 plus k squared minus k plus 6k plus 1 ak has to be 0. With me on that? Yeah. OK, which means that um, maybe let me look at the let me look at the red stuff first because that'll be a little bit easier. So the red stuff says that, uh, oops, not a zero. Let me say that a two is minus one half a zero. And a three is minus seven sixths a one. You guys with me on this? Yeah. Okay. And then my other bit of relationship here is that k plus two times k plus one a k plus two plus, and then if I collect that crap, it's k plus, sorry, k squared plus 5k plus 1, a k equals 0. I was really hoping that was going to factor because it would make my life a little easier. But it didn't. So what I have is ak plus 2 is equal to minus k squared plus 5k plus 1 over k plus, oops, over k plus 2 times k plus 1 a oops times a k okay so what have i got now Yes. Okay, so without without knowing anything better than what I've got here, um what I have is a recursive relationship between the coefficients in my power series, right? So what I, what I know off the top of my head is that my y, right, 
is A0 plus A1X plus, well, A2 is minus one half A0, right? So I know that the A2 part of this, right, the thing on X squared is minus one half A0. And then A, A3 is minus seven, six, A1, right? Mm -hmm. And then I should have plus, and now, now what should go right here is A, what is that, four? Mm -hmm. This should be A4. And the way I get A4 is in terms of A2, right? So A4 is A sub two plus two. Mm -hmm. And so that means, according to this relationship that I have right above it, that that's minus, uh, let's see, two squared is four plus 10 plus one, God damn it. Why this touch screen doesn't work in this one corner it drives me insane. Over uh, four times three, a two. And I know that that's minus 15 over 12 times, well, a two, Positive 15 24 x squared. Hang on. A2 was minus one half A0, right? Yeah. Which reads like positive 15 24 -ths. I mean, I probably should reduce this just a little bit, right? That's five quarters. So I think I got five eighths a zero x to the fourth plus, and then this would be a five, which I would get out of saying that a five is a sub three plus two, and then I can get it in terms of a three. Does that process make sense? Yeah. So this is how you get this kind of like, okay, so at the very least I can approximate this sucker, right? And the the classic mathematical cheat for this is just to write plus dot, 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 and just like hope that whoever's looking at it believes that that relationship is obvious. Uh, but the kind of more, a more moralistic thing to do with it would be to include this recursive relationship so that they know how to cal calculate as many terms as they need to. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. And I was kind of expecting something to cancel nicely here, which makes me a little concerned that I've made some kind of, you know, sort of basic arithmetic mistake per usual. I'll move now. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I have this very strong suspicion that I made some kind of little arithmetic boo-boo through, throughout this. Uh, let's see. Let me pause the video. I'm not seeing an obvious arithmetic mistake here. Um, so it's possible that I actually did this correctly. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Um, and then, but... Yeah, I kind of wouldn't be surprised if I had a slight arithmetic mistake, but I don't see one. The way you have box there, is that just the solution or like... Yeah, so ultimately this is not particularly satisfactory in terms of a solution. Um, mm -hmm. What I would really like is some kind of an explicit understanding of what each of the coefficients in the power series is. Mm -hmm. Um, but frankly, I'm not 
seeing that right here right now um right. i guess i guess i could try we could try a little we could try a little harder frankly to find one um but i'm not super willing to uh -huh. i and i don't care if you guys do either you know really honestly the um the the right way to do this is to get to this point where you have a recursive relationship and then write a little bit of code to dump the coefficients out for you. Mm -hmm. um, it would it would take a, all of three or four minutes to write enough Python code to dump 10,000 of these terms out for us and mm -hmm. then plot that thing. Um, do do please maybe note that there I really should have initial conditions somewhere right Thank you. like I should have a couple coefficients that I could use to satisfy initial conditions somewhere here so like normally you know I started with a degree two differential equation or a second order differential equation right so oops that's just wiggling thanks so I would normally be saying something like y is a1, y1, or a y1 plus b y2, right? Where y1 and y2 were the homogeneous solutions. Yeah. So, I mean, like, normally I get something like y is a e to the 2t plus b e to the 3t, right? Mm -hmm. And so somehow it seems like I don't have that. Yeah. But what are my coefficients here? Well, there's, there's all these a1s and a0s in here, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Those are going to be something related to your initial condition. In fact, if you plug in y of 0 into both sides of this, a0 is y of 0. And if you differentiate this thing and then plug in 0, you'll get a1. So a0 and a1 are, are exactly the initial conditions. a0 is y of 0, and a1 is y prime of 0. Normally, I have some process by which I have to solve for a and b, right? Mm -hmm. But not in this case, they're right there. You know, you just plug in your y of 0 into a0 and your y prime of 0 into a1. And then it just cascades through the whole series. Does that make sense? Yeah. Glenn found it. Glenn's the winner. Glenn found the thing that I did that made this all seem wrong. Thank you, Glenn. You're welcome. So right here, when I had 6y to start with, I then wrote down regular y because I'm a moron. And it should have been 6, so there should be a 6 there. I should trace 6s into these terms and that one. And then that should make it 6a0 here. And six, uh, let's see, should have been a six A1X there. And then this other one should have also been a six A1X. So that should have been a 12 A1 there. And then this guy should have a six on it at the end. And that makes it so you can cancel something here. And that makes the recursion a lot easier to see. Um, so yeah, that, that is better. That'll be better. Um, that makes it so the top factors, like I wanted it to, I just, I knew they hadn't thrown me such a curveball with problem one. I just couldn't see it because I'm an idiot. So thank you, Glenn. You're all that, all that stuff. But with this slight addition at the end that you do it right instead of wrong. Okay. Good talk.